Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. In this video, I will make you more familiar with the ClickSense desktop interface and give you some brief instruction on orientation and navigation. When you start ClickSense desktop, you are greeted with the ClickSense desktop hub. This is where you create apps and organize existing apps that you have. Um, briefly, if you click on a title, you will see the descriptive information as well as the location of the app denoted by the QVF file. Uh, across the top, you have a menu item here to bring you to our online help, as well as the version information about the software. You have a link that brings you to the ClickSense Cloud, where you can share the apps that you create in ClickSense Desktop with users inside or outside your organization, up to five users for free. You have a search icon here, where you can search for apps that have already been created. You also have a Getting Started tab on the bottom, which will bring you to the Getting Started page where you can browse a variety of videos. Now note, some of these videos are featuring version 1.1 of ClickSense Desktop. These will be updated over time. However, the lessons learned in these videos are still applicable to the software. Okay, let's take a look at an existing app. Uh, let's go into the Consumer Goods app. And when you go into an existing app, you will have a app overview page and the app overview page shows you the sheets which are your layouts that contain your visualizations your bookmarks which are saved selection states and your data stories which are your narratives or your findings that you lay out after you take snapshots from your visualizations and present your findings inside what we call a data story also note you can edit the title and description as well as change or add a thumbnail to the app let's go into one of the sheets I'll start out with the KPI dashboard. Here we are in uh, view mode or analyze mode. You'll notice a number of buttons across the top. Um, you have the ability to take a snapshot. For example, let me just select Delhi here. And then what I would like to do is take a snapshot of the margin amount over time. And that will store that inside a snapshot repository that I could use later within data storytelling. Uh, you have the ability to pop right into data stories, bookmarks, or navigate to different sheets. And then you could also navigate to different sheets by using these arrow buttons across the top. You have the ability to search your data using the global smart search feature. You have our global selections list, which shows you all of the dimensions and their values. You have the ability to clear selections, as well as a step through forwards and backwards for these selections. And save your app. Let's go into edit mode. And within edit mode, you have the ability to select your different visualizations. And depending on which visualization you choose, various settings will be applied on the right. Uh, most common settings are those for data, sorting, add-ons, and appearance. On the left over here, you have all of your chart objects. You have your fields. And then you also have your saved visualizations, such as predefined visualizations that you've created and you want to store inside the master items. You can reuse those later in another sheet. Uh, measures, which are predefined calculations or expressions, and dimensions, which also can be predefined uh, calculations or expressions utilizing a various functions. Across the bottom, you have uh, the ability to hide the various panels. You have the ability to delete, undo, redo, as well as cut and copy and paste. And some of these uh, options can also be initiated by uh, using right-click menus. And you'll notice, depending on which option it is, uh, you'll have different types of uh, menu items in the menu. Okay, across the top, you have your menu items here for going back to the app overview, going to our data manager, the data load editor, the data model viewer, as well as going directly back to the hub. Okay, and then you also have the ability to export sheets to PDFs. Uh, you have the ability to duplicate a sheet, delete a sheet, so other menu items are also available across the top in here as well. Okay, one other thing is in view mode, you can also right click on an object and you can have various options such as taking a snapshot, exporting the chart object as an image, as a PDF, or exporting the data that creates that visualization. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Please make sure to check out the Click community. Look for new to ClickSense 
and there's a section new to ClickSense videos that will give you more information on how to use ClickSense. Uh, if you want an all-in-one ClickSense type of tutorial or video, um, you could look at the Getting Started webinar, which is about 50 minutes or so that kind of goes through start to finish um, and covers a variety of different features and capabilities within to the product. And then if we scroll down a little bit more here, you'll see that there is a section for comprehensive tutorials. And these are tutorials with real data, uh, sample installations, as well as a document. So we got you covered here when wanting to become more familiar with ClickSense. All right, we'll take care, and I will see you guys on the next video.